What's up guys, it's your boy The Moan and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that I struggled with for a very long time to the point where I didn't even realize, <laughs> well, I mean I realized that I needed to do this but I, I still was kind of ignoring it for a very long time and uh, what we're going to talk about today is leveling up your artifacts. Now this is a big deal. Um, I'd imagine, you know, that since it was something for me that I struggle with, uh, just because, you know, everything in this game costs so much freaking gold um, that I'd imagine somebody out there, you know, might be struggling with this too. So uh, in this video today, guys, I want to share with you guys all of the ways to get charms uh, to level up your artifacts because to be honest, guys, like unless you're summoning a ton, like using like spare cards to level up your artifacts is probably not the best way to do it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this, uh, you know, we're gonna try to highlight all the ways that you guys can get charms uh, If you guys if I miss one, you know, feel free in the comment box, you know below to add uh, You know your input, you know, maybe you know, like yo D what about this way and that way? Uh, so that way like if other people, you know, are struggling and they're wondering how to like power up artifacts or whatever You know like as a community, you know, we can kind of help them out like I said, this is something like I just started maxing. Like I've been playing this damn game since like day one, and I literally just started maxing my artifacts, and I've been doing it the hard way, through like summoning stuff. But again, um, without talking your head off, let's go ahead and get into this. So uh, the first way, guys, is when you guys go to battle, if you guys are in a raid situation, uh, or you're able to get into raid, I'm going to ask Vakalos real quick. I'm going to pop into normal old labyrinth real quick i can't remember when this becomes available i think it's world difficulty chapter six after you clear it uh then you get access to the shop okay um and then when you guys go in here uh i think it, with the logistics officer i'm pretty sure she sells artifact charms which she does so you can buy epic artifact charms for a total of five uh these queen as as a man is necklaces or whatever the hell these things are or these these tokens sorry the coronation souvenirs <laughs> uh this is something the pitfall that i fell into here was that i was buying these queen, uh, i still to this day buy these queen as much gifts because they could drop transmit stones and galaxy bookmarks i for sure be buying these every single time <laughs> so if i if i've definitely switched my 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 mind frame my paradigm uh, to buying epic charms and epic artifact charms, uh, my progression will probably ramp up a little bit. Okay, so so that, that's 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 one of the ways. Okay, um, the other way is via guild war. If you guys are doing guild war, um, you can definitely buy lesser artifact charms here. Um, so if you guys go to your guild menu, if you guys are in a guild, you guys just go to your member shop. And uh, one thing that I didn't realize until much much later is that these lesser artifact charms. Uh, you can buy over and over and over again, unlimited, right? So if you got currency and you guys aren't saving for the Terra Phantasmas, so like for me right now, I'm like I don't even care about this Terra Phantasma. I mean, I should, but I don't, <laughs> just because it's just like I make, you know, you can make four stars so fast. Like once you get to the point where you just farm, like yeah, I know it helps, but I'm just like whatever. Um, so if you guys just got leftover and you guys aren't waiting, or if you're in a position where this is, you know, it's helpful but it's not a necessity. Uh, then you guys can go ahead and, and just max out on these down here with the less artifact charms Okay, the other way uh, that you guys already know is via events. Okay, so events side stories, you know um, Event side stories anything that you could buy with currency the other way is um, And this kind of builds upon the raid thing here is if you guys weren't aware you guys can go to this dude here, we're gonna go here together, okay? And I'll show you guys this. We'll go ahead and skip through this. We're gonna go to Ki Kiwi Ruberan, okay? And uh, hopefully he has one in here. We're just gonna go up in here, and I'm gonna show you guys this. Uh, this has been something since the beginning of time that I ignored for the longest time. <laughs> and I'll show you guys the other location that you have a chance of getting them to as well. But if you guys haven't had the opportunity to run into the Merchant Man, which is this little buddy right here, uh, the Vagrant Merchant. He's the one known for selling stuff for ridiculous amounts of of, of uh, coin. But he also has a chance to spot, uh, to have uh, charms in here. So you can literally buy these charms from him. Um, and you, artifact charms can pop here. So you guys can definitely pick them up uh, if you guys have the coin. Uh, this resets every single day. So you want to make sure that you check these every single day. 
All right, so that's that's one of the key things that you guys definitely want to pay attention to. Uh, also, the other location we're going to go to uh, together as well. If you guys go to your battle, if you guys go to not as McCullough this time, but if you guys go to Terrell Castle and Chaos, um, if you guys go here, we'll do this together as well. Just pop in here. I think I already hit this guy up, um, but you guys can literally just click the map here. You guys can scroll up here. You guys can go to your waypoint. Bing, bang, boom. You know, scroll down. You're just going to walk. It'll be one fight, uh, which should be easy pretty much no matter where you are in the game. <laughs> Even if you just started like five minutes ago and you guys are like, yo, I just spent a million dollars and I got artifacts in the game. <laughs> How do I level them up? Um, then you just kind of go over here. And when you get to this middle room, uh, once you get to this middle room, it'll be another merchant. And like I said, his uh, another bigger merchant and his changes uh, every day too. So you guys see I came here, I bought these charms out. This is another way to like, kind of like level up your gear. Um, I've seen epic charms drop here. I think I paid 300k for an epic charm. Um, and then you can just leave and it doesn't count. It doesn't take any of your labyrinth tokens. Uh, but I would check that at the start of the day every single time. Now, one thing I do want to mention, uh, these are all the ways that... I, th I think I think I got them all. Like I said, if, if I did, if I miss one, uh, make sure you guys cover them. You know, help me out in the comment box. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, D, what about this way? What about that way? What about Cookie Way? Right? Um, so again, anybody that's in the community that's reading it, and will be like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and they could try it out. Uh, one thing that I do like to do, guys, just as a heads up, when I'm leveling my artifacts, uh, I don't know if this has any value or not. <laughs> But let's say if, uh, oh, there's one more thing I want to mention too. Um, but I don't know if this has any value, but when I have artifact charms, what I like to do is, uh, not that, <laughs> but when I have artifact charms, what I do is I use one artifact charm at a time instead of like using five at a time. So um, I don't know if the, the bonus itself is cumulative based on the amount of artifacts that you use, but I like to use one artifact at a time just in case I get that good or great bonus um because it's going to be the, it's going to cost me the same either way but i do them one at a time to give myself more opportunities to get that good or great instead of just throwing all my artifacts in one and just hoping it rolls um so like if i have five greater artifact charms then you guys you know i'll just use one at a time you know for the 61k every single time um and then i just remembered another way to do this um this is probably not the most effective way to do this, but it just depends on where you're at in the game. Like, if you're free to play, like, don't do what I'm getting ready to tell you to do. If you're spending money and you just don't care, then it's up to you. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the difference. Now, the other way to get greater artifact charm is really cake, like, especially if you guys are summoning a ton. Like, for myself, I just got done summoning a bunch, so I had a bunch of artifacts laying around, and... I wanted to clear 490, so I was just like, whatever, I already got these artifacts. Like, yeah, could I max them out? Yeah, whoop de whoop But most of these I already have maxed, <laughs> and the five-star ones I don't have maxed, obviously. Um, but, you know, I have one of each at least. So I'm like, <laughs> at this point, I could just use my, uh, my powders of knowledge that I've accumulated over time and buy the greater artifact charms. And you can do this, like, especially if you have a lot of powder, you can max out artifacts quick super quick um however it's going to be expensive because like i said it's like 61 or 71k i think it's like 61,800 or something like that every for every single artifact charm that you're going to use to enchant so it's going to be expensive so every 10 is 600k right um but again if you guys are free to play i do not recommend you do this at all and even if you're in a rush because the reason why depending on where you're in the game you might or might not have the five star artifacts that you're looking for and i would hate for you to waste all your powder powder knowledge you know um at this point in the game and then have an artifact that you need that would dramatically change your game come out the next week you see what i'm saying so um with that being said when you look at this strategy for doing this if you guys are in a rush I highly recommend that you guys really pay attention to uh, the Mystic Summon Shop, you know, so you guys can pay attention to your opportunities to see what artifacts you have a chance to get there. Um, also pay attention to uh, how long you got left before the, the, the Powder Shop is going to change. Because if the Powder Knowledge Shop is going to change and there's an artifact that you really, really want, um, like for instance, let's say in five days, you know, because I think Idol's Chair is coming labyrinth cube or time matter maybe i, I don't know um <clears throat> but depending on on what's going to be in the shop um you know next rotation if you need that 
then it's really uh, it's really really important that you pay attention to that before you start blowing your dust off. Okay, so that's that's definitely 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 something that I want to really mention because deciding on whether to do that can be um, either really beneficial for you, like especially if you don't need any of the artifacts, you know, coming in the next rotation, or if it's close to the end of rotation. Um, it could be really beneficial for you, or it could be really detrimental and really hurt you um, if you're in a rush and you just blow your currency really fast. Okay, so that's all I want to mention for that. So, uh, like I said, guys, in today's video, I wanted to talk about all the ways, since to be honest, like I said, unless you guys are summoning a ton, which I don't really recommend for anybody, <laughs> you know, it happens. We get in our summoning sense. I was just in a tilt mode uh, recently where I blew like 4K crystals on summons. Um, 9k 9k crystals don't tell anybody <laughs> don't tell anybody and i literally didn't get a damn thing but that's not the point but if you guys are summoning uh and you guys have like crazy influx of three star artifacts and stuff then by all means blow them off or if you got all your four star artifacts max and all that jazz then do you boo boo but if you're not in that position yo okay uh those are all the other ways that you guys can find charms uh so you can buy them uh, with coin that you can farm anyway uh, and help get yourself leveled up again another key tip though before we bring this video game video game to a close bring, bring this video to a close is also what can really help you out is really keeping laser like focus on your team compositions guys so i talk about this a lot in other videos like really focusing but identify a key team especially if you guys are early game um, if you guys are like just getting into Wyvern or trying to get your floor level and Wyvern done, like just focus on the artifacts for that team. It'll make it, it'll make plusing those artifacts so much easier than if you're trying to like plus artifacts for 57 people like this guy. Okay. Don't, don't be this guy. All right. So that's, that's, that's my last, last tip of the day. I promise. All right. So <laughs> anyway, guys, with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damon. Again, if you guys, if I missed any way that you guys can get artifact charms, post it in the comment box so other people can see it. Um, and you know what I'm saying? You guys have an opportunity to help the community out as well. So that way when people see the video or they read the comments, they're like, oh, damn, you know what I'm saying? I can go do that. And, you know, you guys got the opportunity too to, you know what I'm saying, help make somebody's life better. You know what I'm saying? So, again, thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.